Vegan Mommy D here. So today's video is going to be a super, super simple video as always. Um, this is just going to be a quick pot pie and I'm using potatoes, mixed veggies. I am using a pre-cooked um, pot pie, so I'm just crisping it up in the oven, but it is actually pre-cooked. Um, be careful because a lot of them have a lot of oil. So I really had to search, but I did find one that I could use because I was too lazy to actually make my own. Um, I still feel like it's best if we make our own, that way we can control what's in it, but I didn't do that, I was in a hurry. So yeah, I just put the pie shell in the oven and then put in all my fixings, which you will see later on in the video. So I just added the other layer of the pie shell on top and then I just poked some holes in just so that it doesn't kind of overflow um, on the edges because you can't really um, seal it very well, you'll see in the video. Hi guys, welcome to my video of my vegan pot pie, which is super easy, of course, it's one of my recipes and you know, I don't like a lot of fuss. So I'm just using a store-bought pie crust, just be careful because some of them do have a lot of oil and a lot of salt, so read your ingredients. I found mine at a local health store that is very overpriced. Um, but I mean it makes Whole Foods look like it's got pretty good prices sadly but I did find a really healthy pie crust so I just bought it. So while my pie crust is just cooking in the oven for 10 minutes I am just listening to Rich Roll. I do like to cook and you know do chores around the house and I listen to my podcasts or sometimes I just listen to my podcasts on the subway on the way to work. Um, but this is my favorite podcast. I love Rich Roll. All his um, shows are just amazing and all the people that he has on are just so inspiring. And so I was just listening to one with Dr. Clapper and I highly recommend listening to his podcast. Check it out. Doctors to do things to patients after the disease has already started to do these very expensive band-aid procedures, a quarter million dollar operation and the patient limps out of the hospital to go eat more cheeseburgers and pizzas and clog up their graphs so they can come back in and have another one done. That's bankrupt medicine. And if afraid do no harm applies to dietary advice as well. And you can really hurt somebody with the wrong diet. And I think a lot of wrong advice is being given. So after the pie crust came out of the oven, I just let it cool off a bit and now I'm just adding in the potatoes and I had already pre-cooked these potatoes and I just chopped them up, you know, they're not even that fine and I'm just popping them into my pie crust. It's that easy, honestly. And then I also pre-cooked some mixed veggies. Whatever you have will work with this recipe. I had these mixed veggies that were frozen. I cooked them just for like a few minutes. They're not like really, really cooked. Like the beans still kind of um, need a little bit more time, but they're gonna continue cooking in the oven. And so I'm just adding that in. And then in this video, you're gonna see that I just added the gravy afterward, but I don't know why I did that. What I normally do is I add half the gravy with the veggies and the potatoes and then I add the other half of the gravy and that way I don't have to like mix the gravy into the veggies very well like it's already combined pretty well but anyway either way it's gonna work it's not really a fussy recipe super easy so if you want you can add whatever seasonings you want if you use salt you can add salt um, I didn't add any seasonings only because my pie crust already has like salt in it and also my gravy has seasoning like I used the tamari sauce so I don't feel like I need to add extra seasoning because it tastes really good um, but you can go ahead and add whatever you like so here is Dr. McDougall's golden gravy this stuff is amazing but you know I do modify his recipe so basically it's one of those recipes you just do whatever you prefer like i like to add a lot of garlic to my golden gravy some people don't like that they like a lot of onion powder do whatever you like to do in the comments below i will put um i guess i can't really give complete amounts but um because i eyeball everything but i'll let you know what i put into the gravy and you could even look up uh, dr mcdougall's golden gravy and i'm sure a lot of recipes will come up but Again, just modify it to your liking.
I wish you guys could smell how amazing this pie turned out. It is so good. Um, it's super, super full, as you can see. You don't have to put as much filling as I did if you don't like that, but I like more filling in mine, so it's kind of overflowing. <laughs> but it is so, so tasty. And honestly, the gravy has all the seasonings you need. You don't really need any other seasonings. And this pie was made in no time at all. Okay, so I am going to add this piece of ginger into a little bit of water. And then I'm going to hopefully get some roots growing so that I can plant it and that way I can have a ginger plant growing and then I can transplant it into a bigger pot with soil outside after. So let's see how it goes, but I'm going to get it started now. That way by the time the warmer weather comes, hopefully I've got something that I can plant. So let's see how it goes. Hopefully it's, it's successful like the avocados were because as you know, the pits that I had planted and I think it's in another video but I think it was like February um, end of February maybe and I have like eight avocado plants growing already so let's see how the ginger goes let me know in the comments below if you have grown ginger and any tips that you have for me I would really appreciate it so I am going to try to get some roots growing with just the end of this lettuce. So with my food scraps, I'm hoping to get some roots going so that I can transplant this in the garden and have some lettuce for the summertime. So let's see how that goes. I'm just going to sit it in water and let's hope for the best. Okay, I don't know if some of my subscribers, my first subscribers, you guys will probably remember that I planted some avocados with my son. It was just, you know, a little project that we decided to do and it was just for fun and I just put the like actual seed in the soil and watered it and it's been, you know, at the sun in my front room getting, you know, plenty of sun in that room and all of a sudden all eight were actually growing in one big pot and I didn't expect that so we had to separate all of them and put them in their own individual containers because they all started growing in the one and I didn't think they were all going to grow so that was amazing and my son was super super excited about all the avocado plants growing. So we planted some seeds um, initially and then we decided to put a few more in the pot so that's why some of them are bigger than the others because some have been growing longer. Honestly, if these don't really grow into actual trees, I'm okay, you know what? It was really fun growing them and if they turn into a really cute plant, I'd be super happy. Thanks so much for watching guys and if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel that way you don't miss any upcoming videos.